On the morning of the 14th of July, a spaceship crash landed into Beechwood Primary Academy School Hall and some unexpected visitors crashed along with it. Throughout the day, the year three class we've been working with performed parts of the story and Key Stage 2 were set tasks to help solve clues and contribute to getting our visitors back home. We brought with us a team of eight performers who played scientists who had come to investigate the crash. Each scientist was placed within one of the Key Stage 2 classes for the full day, guiding them through completing tasks and staying in character to bring the magic to life. Hello, I'm Vicky Horan and I am an artist for Above Bounds Theatre but I'm also the project manager for this year's uh, We're Flying Colours project with us at Above Bounds. So it's me that's been in charge of organising the logistics of this whole project. We're performing a show that's got an alien and a floaty and detectives. We're the detectives and we're here to investigate this crash! <laughs> I like the first scene because I like it when we do the song who we crash. Oh, wrong, wrong way against the mighty shape. So my name's Matt Dean um, and I am the designer, effectively, um, and maker of the puppets and various elements that make up this uh, show that's been written by the kids. The, the green alien was probably the most fun one to make, just because it was the, their description of it was just utterly crazy, and I had to sort of translate that into something doable. For us, it took a little bit of time to get to know the young people, but once they kind of knew who we were, they realised we were coming in regularly, they realised that actually the, we were listening to the ideas that they had and we built that trust so they realised that we're actually going to bring their ideas to life. Um, I think the trust kind of grew and grew and grew over the course of the year and it just meant that the co-creative aspect and collaboration throughout the year just became so much easier and so much more joyful. Um, not, not only did they take away a lot from this project and working with us across the year, I think we've definitely taken away um, a lot as well. It's really been driven by the children, unlike other projects that I might be working on where it's driven by a professional in charge who is making those decisions. This has been very much, you know, when we've come up with, uh, with questions of things, it goes to the children first. They have to answer those questions, not us. And then we take those answers and then see what we can do with that. So, so that's a that's a big difference, but it's nice to experiment in that way. And it gives them complete ownership over it, which is what this is all about. Um, I'm an actor. You get to do loads of stuff. And what are you looking forward to for us today? Uh, having fun. Holly and I'm a teacher at Beechwood Primary Academy. So I am the teacher that um, the class has that's been involved with the project and I sort of li liaise with Helen and Vicky um, about the project. It's the first time that they're sort of doing something in person to an audience which I think has been great for the children. They've really surprised me, they've been brilliant and I just think it's, it's helped them understand that there are different jobs around and it's really like raised their aspirations about what they can do outside of school. When they started trying the, the giant puppet on, they were all, they all just so enjoyed it and they were so engaged because they'd never seen anything like that before. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. They're so good with the children, they're so engaged with the children, you know, they've really built good relationships with the children, so it's, it's been brilliant. I don't think it's really like sunk in just yet that the day has been complete but the young people just did so 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 well I'm super proud of them um, not only the, the young people that we've been working really closely with or the young people who've engaged across the activities across the day some of them were definitely a little bit reluctant at first but I think as the day kind of went on and they warmed to us as artists and the different facilitators and scientists they saw around the space. Um, yeah, I think the year three class that performed should be really proud of what they've done, um, considering that for most of them, the only thing that they've performed in previously is a school assembly, which I think is slightly different to what we've achieved today. I would hope that they feel more empowered in themselves as young people, whether that is creatively or whether that's they feel like 
they have been heard or whether they feel more confident to voice their opinions, whether it's that they're confident to perform, to socialise with their peers um, and just to uh, embrace being who they are because they are great and they didn't need to change themselves to create what we needed to create for this project. Um, and hopefully they feel empowered as well to keep a little uh, snippet or a little nugget, if not a whole load of um, inspiration to carry on being creative in whatever form that they wish to in the future as well. We've had an absolute blast and we can't wait to work with them again next year.